Welcome, everyone, to episode 54 of Sis and Big Pops Culture. Oh, how? As always, I am Todd Turner, also known as Big Pops, Mosaic Fan Art, KY Medicine Man, and a plethora of other nomenclature. Nomenclature, huh? I don't know. I don't That's... think that was used correctly, but I'm here for it. All right, good. And you are, ma'am? <laughs> Hi. Hi, friends. I am Sis, a.k.a. Hannah Jo, and together we are Sis and Big Pops Culture. Um, we are a father. Uh, we are an adult daughter and father duo. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've said this. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family-friendly. That's right. You guys, anyone can listen. Yes, dad. Even if they're not in a family. <laughs> or a you, part of a fandom. Correct. But if you are part of a fandom, you are part of the family. And if, what, and Hannah? if you're not part of the fan, family fandom? What? You are. It doesn't matter. Listen, all life is fandom. I'm serious. I mean, listen, people dress up like like to go to a basketball game or a football game, and they're like, and I'm like, really? They make fun of me for dressing up like... When uh, have you ever cosplayed? Professor, oh, Professor uh, uh, Joker. Remember? Did you remember when I wore that? I did makeup. Long story. Our small group, our nerd small group. I don't remember to, you doing that. Our nerd small group had to meet via... Uh, oh, yes, because I helped you with the eyeliner. Yeah, I was professor. I was good, too. I was more of like a um, Cesar Romero joker, but it was good. Mm. Hannah, tell them what we do here. Yes. Hey, friends, welcome back. We've missed hanging out with you. And, Dad, I've missed chatting with you. Ditto, Um, sis. We are uh, back and better than ever after the semester's over. Praise the Lord for summertime and school being uh, done-ish. Um, we are going to do a couple different things today. Uh, we have not read a comic today. We will read comics. I read still. plenty for everyone. Dad read plenty of comics. Um, Trevin kept asking me to read these comics that don't have any words in them. And I didn't even look at those. So, step by bloody step. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, he has all of them. He was like, Hannah, you have, you're going to love this. Okay, It's he's written be, by Cy Spurrier, which is hilarious because he doesn't even write anything. He's going to be salty that you knew exactly what it was and I still haven't read it. That right. is going to be fun it's beautiful. for me. Okay, here you go. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not done. No, no, no. I'm, telling, I'm telling everybody what we're going to do, but I got Okay, and then I want to go back to step by step. Go. Okay. Go ahead. So we are going, <laughs> we are going to, we're, we typically review a comic. We're not reviewing a comic today. We're going to do, we're going to review two movies that have come out recently. And um, we're going to do a spoiler free um Top Gun Maverick. Review of Top Gun Maverick. We're going to do a spoiler heavy review of Dr. Strange, Dr. Multiverse Strange. of Madness. Yep. Um, we're going to do a roundup of some news that we find interesting. It's been a couple months since we did a recording, so there's a lot of news that's out there that we're not going to talk about. Um, just because we're not talking about it doesn't mean it's not important. It means that uh, we didn't want to talk there's about too it. too much. Right. Um, and Dad's okay. going to pull some comics for us. Exactly. And we'll talk about what so, a pull list is when we get there. So back to reading Step by Step. Step by yes. Step is a comic book that is out, and there are literally no words in it. And I don't know. I, I find it harder to read, in quotation marks, a comic book that has no words than a comic book that has words. I have to go back and look at it multiple times because I have to let the art do the, do the words for do me. Do the talking. So, yeah, anyway. Hannah. Yes. What do you have from the news desk in Bowling Green, Kentucky? Hit me. Okay, Daredevil might come back for season four on Disney Plus. Yeah, but do you think it'll be immature? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they've got them all on there, right? Well, and yes, and they did Here's not do good with, with Kingpin in Hawkeye. Well, I mean, they didn't, Dad. <sighs> I know. The you can't tell me they killed. did good. She, she should have been killed. She should have. She, he throws her once like a rag doll and she'll both. Yeah. But you know what? She's wearing that LARPer uniform <laughs> and they really know how to make some they pretty tough They know uniforms. how to use Warbla and you that's know, a fact. That's, listen, this is so funny because somebody was like, uh, 
somebody had posted on some type of thingy or whatever that were like, you know, everybody's so worried about Spider-Man and his origin story, but how in the world do they know that a, like an 18 year or a 17 year old kid can sew a uniform that good? And I'm like, apparently they've never been to a comic con. Um, have you, do you know, do you even know, <laughs> sir, ma'am, how this works? Cause we do. Absolutely. My own so, hand knitted Mabel yeah, so sweater. I, I, I don't know. I don't I know. So ben, I, ben I, I and it was so good. And, so I hope that know. it is good still. But I didn't hey, even this, know that that was a possibility. This is big news for the comic book okay, folks. Bring it on, bring it on. Um, do you know who Joe Casada is? No. Well, you know what? I'm going to bring Daredevil in straight in do all it. the way back. The original Daredevil movie that was made starring Ben Affleck, a character was uh, a was named at Joe Casada in the movie because at the time Joe Casada was the uh, head of Marvel Comics. Oh, so okay. In you, so big in comic that, book guy. Done, yeah, he's done a lot of writing and a lot of art. And as, since, since 2010, so he's been with Marvel since 2000. And since 2010, he's been their chief creative officer. Today was his last day. He done with Marvel. So uh, apparently... Where's he they, going? I don't know. I don't know, but he's directing and written an indie film to watch out for. And I'm sure he'll be doing more stuff. But if you'll see a bunch of interviews and anything where they talk about Marvel, a lot of times they interview him. Okay. But, Joe yeah, Casada's last day CCO of Marvel. I know. Bum. Chief creative officer. What else you got? Um, what did you think about the She-Hulk trailer? What everybody else thought. That it was not good? That's CGI. Okay. No. Okay. I liked it if the CGI was better. And apparently they've already been working on it. She looked spooky. She did look weird. She looked so spooky. I don't she think looks she looks spooky dookie. I don't think she looks spooky. And I Imagine liked her. If, I loved the comic that we read. Oh. And so I, I hope that it's good. Oh, and remember that that the author of yours is currently writing She-Hawk, Rainbow. Yes, Rainbow Roel. It is really good. Is it's it really? Gr- oh, it's a great comic oh, book. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. I really, man, favorites. her stuff is good. I like the uh, Eleanor and Park and the um, fangirl or fanboy or fan. Mm-hmm. Something no, like fa- that. Fan if, if, word. I'm yeah. Did you see the Miss Marvel trailer? I felt okay about the Miss Marvel trailer. I did too. I did too. I felt okay about it. So Marvel's throwing them all out there. Thor, the Thor trailer. The Thor trailer. The, there's something that I saw on like TikTok or something like that, and it yeah. was the uh, Ty. I can't. I can never say his Ta- name Taika right. Waititi. Yeah, ification of Thor. Mm-hmm. And how that was one of the best things that's ever happened to the Marvel universe. And if you look at the first two Thor um, posters and then the current two Thor, like the last two Thor, Thor pers- yeah. posters and like the difference yeah, in like color scheme and brightness and rainbow. Uh, Did you, were you the one that was talking to me about him and Ryan Reynolds first movie together was Green Lantern? Green Lantern, dad. Isn't that bonkers? It is bonkers. He was in this new, uh, this new TV show called uh, where he was a pirate captain. Black. Oh yes, I want to see it. It's on um, HBO. I haven't watched it. I, I am it. deep in that land of TikTok. I have no idea what anybody is talking about, and I also can't even remember what it's called. But it's got its own little fandom already. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. What else Ms. you got? Marvel. You look at that in the list. Yeah. Pinocchio. Did you see the Pinocchio teaser? Okay. So this is, is it the Disney Pinocchio or the, which, or the Pinocchio from Guillermo del Toro who did Pan's Labyrinth. Dang it. I got confused. I watched yeah. the Pinocchio with Tom Hanks. Yeah. That is Disney's. So, so, so there's I guess two Pinocchios to, coming out. They're thrown out. Yes. So, so they're throwing out Tom Hanks's Pinocchio to get in, t- in front of Guillermo del yeah, Toro's it, Pinocchio? It feels that way. Sort of like why? White House Down and... Why, 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 why? What was it? What was it? White House Down and... Uh, Olympus Has Fallen. Olympus Has Fallen or... Uh, they do Armageddon this. Armageddon or Deep Impact. I mean, they it feels do this. this way. feels that way. It, I'm man, more excited for Guillermo del Toro's... Okay, because I was so excited. I was like, yes, a teaser trailer. But then I was watching it and I was like, Tom Hanks is in this? Yeah. And was very confused. But oh man. I know. It's not it. 
That's a bummer. When is Guillermo okay. del Toro's is coming out? I don't know. I don't know. But do you remember the I guy? I hope he comes out with like, it still. Sorry, I'm salty about that now. Like even Steven's movie where they were trapped on an island. Shia and LaBeouf? The one guy, Actual yeah, cannibal no, Shia LaBeouf? No, no, no. Yeah, but the, the guy who ran the TV show. Gotcha. On Tim your own Meadows. show. Yes. Tim Meadows. He's, yes. he's in Mandalorian season three. Yay! Hey, Bryce Dallas Howard is directing another episode. I saw that. Oh, and uh, her episodes are okay. so good. Here's the deal. Did you? I mean, everything on Disney is Star Wars. All of a sudden, I don't get it. I, I don't. I feel like I'm I'm lost because there's Lando and or uh, everything's Obi-Wan one Kenobi, name. Bad bad. Everything is one name. Young Jedi Adventure, Skeleton Crew, Visions, Ahsoka. There's one I wrote down I can't even... I'm watching none of it. I know, me either. I'm watching none of it. Well, I've and watched Boba Fett. I've heard mixed things. I haven't watched Boba Fett. I've watched mixed things. I've heard Mitch... Blah, 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 blah. I've heard mixed things about the new Obi-Wan show. I haven't watched it, so I can't say anything about I, it. Me either. Me either. So I, I don't know anything. Here's what I have been doing. Trevin and I started re-watching Stranger Things. Okay, well, hold on. We'll get into what okay. we're watching. But I had one Well, more that was news. news that Stranger Things Season 4 is out. Okay. Oh, I've got news, just my personal news. Oh, okay, bring it on. So uh, my friend Hector, yes! who does Faith and Fandom, his book 8 is out. Woo! In book 8. And I'm now officially published because <laughs> I wrote a chapter for his book. Um, Yay! If you, guys want, if you guys are interested, go to faithandfandom.org. Um, you can order his books on Amazon. He has a lot of his stuff on his website. Um, and they're great devotions that are based on different fandoms. There's perfect for starting mm. a small group full of nerds. So uh, Dan says congratulations. Well, thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. Oh, and also news. I'm just a horn toot in here. So the Doctor Strange fan art competition. I won first prize, which is second place. That's so lame. <laughs> it's so lame that it's called first prize, but it's second know, place. It's, it's not lame place. that you won. I no. think it's super, super cool that you won. And, and it was really cool. I got prize two pieces of autographed promotional art. Said congratulations. And um, letters from the visual arts team and the artists involved on the Dr. Strange. And it was evident that they looked at the stuff. They actually they looked at your art. They, they commented they, on it. Not only that, the one guy, he went through my social media and went back. Really? And looked at how I created it. How you created so, That's so cool. Yeah, so my Dr. Strange piece won over tens of thousands of, uh, of um, entries. I got second Dad. place, first prize. It was cool. That's so, so exciting. Excited. I know. Yay. Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got any more news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got those thousands. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, your nails. Yeah, yeah. I'm yay. Hannah for has, you. has smiley faces on her nails. Um, <laughs> normally at this time we talk about what we've been binging. <laughs> yes. But we haven't seen each other in a while. We haven't. So I could take this. I'm going to just. I could just roll uh, on a rampage. I'm space it out. Okay, love I'm that. Choose one thing. Please do. Talk to you about it and then choose another thing later. These are things that I've binged. Okay. So. What do you want to talk about? You said um, you've been rewatching. I've Stranger been rewatching Stranger Things. Um, I never watched season man, three. The first season is just so good. Yeah. The first and, season uh, is just so good, and the second Taser season face is dies just in like the first episode. He does, doesn't he, man? Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's a good Solomon. man. I what know. a good man to take care of yeah. that sweet little nug like I that. I love he second season. That. Second season also. Chef's kids. Newbie, Bill third newbie. season. And blah, blah, blah. So I am gonna did you rewatch third it. Third season. I did. I watched all uh, of it when it came out, and it was not good. Um, so I am. We're rewatching all of them because I want to watch season four. Yeah, um, half of it's out, right? Yes, half of it is out. Trevin and I were talking about the proprietor of his local comic book shop and about whether or not we should can we should watch Stranger Things four or if we should wait for the second installment to come out at the end of July. And the guy was like, "These episodes are an hour thirty plus long mm-hmm. you need to watch them now see when i watched the first season i watched it all in like two or three days oh yeah just bing bang boom yeah 
Bing, bang, Season- boom. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, so yeah, Stranger Things, uh, 11 with her bloody nose. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to go back and to watch season one because I am looking at things and being like, oh, that this space is important in season two. Oh, yeah. And so it's cool to go back and realize, oh, they reused a lot of the sets um, and kept a lot of things the same, which I thought was That's really cool. cool. That is cool. That's fun to, it was fun to notice. So I watched um, the movies that made us. Mm, those are fun. Which um, the basically. The toys that made us or the movies that made us? The movies. Okay. I watched the toys that made us. So what this did, I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. It, what it does is it t- takes like <clears throat> iconic movies and showed how they were created, how they were made. And like, it's amazing that some of these movies ever happened. But like it did Halloween. Mm. Um, they did one whole thing on horror. Fun. They did um, like uh, they did Ghostbusters. Um, Man, Alien. Ghostbusters. Aliens. They did Aliens. Um, the sequel. The sequel. Yeah, they talked about it. Um, they did Coming to America. Coming the first to America. one. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on Netflix, and I really enjoyed Fun. it. I went back and watched it. It is infirmature because they have a lot. They have cussing in it. Mm. Um, is it but, a, is uh, it like a series or is it a movie? It's a series. Okay, yeah, because the toys that made us is a series. Yeah, it's a series. There's like three seasons, but they're only like like three episodes one season, maybe four the next, maybe three the next. So mm. there's not a lot. So it doesn't take it doesn't take any time to watch them. But it was really cool. I was like, oh, my gosh. I can't, like, when you're looking at they needed to get this approved and this money and the whole entire thing, there was one on The Nightmare Before Christmas. And, you know, Tim Burton had absolutely nothing to do with that movie. Like, hardly anything. They were just his idea, his character's ideas. Gotcha. hmm And um, they talk about Danny Elfman, how he had... Uh, done all of the voice acting for that for the thing but you know we we know that in the movie he's not the voice he's only the singing voice but when they went to watch it he was they were like oh he's terrible he can sing but he can act so they had to get somebody to come in and do the voice of pumpkin king yeah you did not like that movie um i like it better when i go back and rewatch it but it's not it's Sandy you have to take Claus, it for what Sandy it is. Claus. It's not a yeah. Now that I watch that, I feel better about okay. it. Okay. Yeah. He there is this really cool um man, I can't remember what it was. This is Disney propaganda. The amount of Disney propaganda I watch is I watch a lot of it. Um there was it was an episode of like different props from different Disney movies, and it was all of the different Jack Skellington heads that were made. Oh yeah. It's crazy. It's insane. There's so many cool of them that were made. It. Yeah. And like the, the different like hills that like unravel and re-ravel up. Very cool. It's a neat show. I suggest people to watch it. Um, what else did I watch? One more thing. I finished um, The Expanse. Ah, uh, no spoilers. I won't spoil it. Although it seemed said it, to me. It was good, but they also kind of left it open. They left it open. They like didn't finish stuff. They like introduced things. But I'm like, oh gosh, this is going to be something, and then it just never wasn't. came. Nah, yeah, it wasn't. Um, so, I mean, it felt to me like they were just like, oh yeah, this is going to be it. Let's just be done, mm. and they were done. Man, lame. Yeah, I hope that's but- good. I don't like things to be over, so I don't right. finish things. Um, right. So I still don't even think I finished season three of Expanse. Season three? This is like season, season three or four. Six or seven. I don't Maybe know. Maybe I haven't finished season four. I can't remember. Um, a couple other things I watched. I've been watching New Girl just in the background of stuff. Hysterical, yeah. classic yeah. film, classic, 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 classic TV show. Um, yeah. Watched Beetlejuice the other oh, day. Yeah, it's great. Also Tim classic. Um, yeah. And um, Trevin and I went and saw The Northmen. In theaters. Oh, did you like it? Did you it did you bloody. see trailers for that? Yeah, it looked pretty. It bloody. was bonkers crazy. Yeah, I imagine any of those Viking movies are like weird. Like it was, that. it was it was crazy. It was it was uh, Hamlet. Was it? It was Hamlet. 
Guess and I told, I, I, I told, last night. I was like, Trevin, it's Viking Hamlet. And he was like, no, it's the story Hamlet was based on. And I don't know what's just true, but. He could be just making crap up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's, he's just making it up. Trevin, it's like, you know, to this, I don't 75% actually, of all uh, statistics, statistics are, are made up on made the spot. Up, That's funny. The spot. What did you and mom watch last night? Um, National Treasure. Oh, <laughs> classic. <gasps> Trevin and I watched Catch That Kid the other day. Oh my gosh, that's an old one. I was like, Trevin. <laughs> All right, we're really going off the deep end. Catch that kid, Dad. So I know, we haven't talked in so long. Goodness, we're like, why not just watch, um, what was the movie where Freddie Nunez wrote the short story and the guy stole it? Big Fat Liar! <laughs> Big Fat Liar! That movie's like, awesome. Right, well, no, because we were trying to figure out what movie to watch, and I was Mr. like, what was catch the that name? kid. What? What, do call the monkey? what do you call the monkey? He's like, Mr. He punches Shoot. the little monkey. <laughs> I can't remember. I love it. I was like, can we have right. to watch Catch That Kid? This was, a, this was a Turner family staple. That's hilarious. And it was. Do you remember? I do, yeah. Turner yeah. family staple, Good Dad. Times. Good, Good times. times Good indeed. Times. Okay, okay. Do we want to do... Do a movie. A movie and then your pull yes. list and then a movie? So do we want to do... Ooh, sorry. Sorry, microphone. Let's talk do about we... Maverick. Okay, love that. So... um, Maverick is 131 minutes long. Um, your mom and I went and saw it at the 10 o'clock movie. We were about the average age of the people there, and it was pretty full. Um, the people that were sitting next to us, I don't think you're old. The people that were sitting oh, next 54. to us I'm were old. older than you. I'm twice your age. Are you twice my age now? I'm 54. I'm tw- tw- 27 times two. Oh, my gosh. 54. 54. <laughs> I was <laughs> just double your, checking. I was double checking you your math. You need to like write, do it on your, yeah, I'm, I'm double I was double checking your math. So, um, hey, that's I cool. Actually, <laughs> I actually told your mom, I said, when this movie's over, watch it, see how long it takes for all these people to get up out of the chairs. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> so, um, at my theater, I don't, this isn't a spoiler. I don't know if this happened at yours, but Tom Hanks comes on beforehand. And says something beforehand and like sweet, thanks everyone saying, Thank for watching. Thank you so much. We have made this for you. It was so kind. Did you watch it, it IMAX? So nice. No. Okay. Oh, man. I bet you'd be awesome to watch an IMAX. Did you watch it in IMAX? IMAX? Okay. So we're going to do a spoiler free Maverick. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I give it five out of five uh, supersonic airplanes. Man. Trevin keeps saying that so he thinks good. it's going to be the best movie of the entire year. Um, and it, I mean. It was really was, good. It was very good. A lot of heart. It was heart. entertaining. Very entertaining. Um, I loved the, you know, the new, the new kids that are introduced. Yes. Miles Teller. Miles Teller. With the mustache. Yes. yes. I liked Bob. That was hilarious. I love And here's Bob. the deal. So, and they introduce Hangman, who uh, I knew from the beginning was going to be Ice Miles Man? Teller's Iceman. Yep. Yep. But you well, they basically made the exact same movie. They did. It was the same but, movie again. Okay, so I'm not mad at it. I'm no. not mad at it. It was the exact same movie again, and I'm not mad at it. It wasn't exactly the same, but parts of it were similar. Very similar. But um, I loved Val Kilmer being in it. Mm. It was so I sweet. Was, I was very worried that they were going to do him dirty. They didn't do him dirty. He wouldn't have been in it if But they do you did. know what I mean? Yes. I was very yeah. worried that they were going to do him dirty. I don't think this is spoilers because everyone knows that he had, he has some throat, throat stuff. Yeah. So he, there was like. How is he going to speak in the film? What's that going to be like? He worked with AI, um, artificial intelligence people, to create um, and all of the movies that he's been in to create what his voice could sound like now. Got you. To be able to speak. So Because he had throat cancer. He, Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. So another Val Kilmer uh, thing is we have to watch this. We should watch this for next time. Willow. Because they are doing, uh, Willow is... They're redoing it. They're not redoing like it. sequel? Correct. Okay. So, um, and Val Kimmer was a big, he was Mad Mad Mardigan, I believe. Really big character. The character in it's huge. Mm. So, and they talked about, is he going to be 
in this one? Is he going to have a partner? Like, yes, he is. He couldn't be with us when we filmed because it was being filmed during COVID. And with his health issues, he could he not wasn't, come Yeah, overseas. he wasn't going to be there. Yeah. But he will have a part in this movie somehow. I so. <clears> was, <throat> the way that they did that, I thought was very respectful. Oh, absolutely. Um, and very beautiful. I loved it. it I was, was I was really worried about it, Dad. Who's like, the, I was like, they are going to the do this who's poor guy pilot? dirty. Who's the better pilot? We're having a good moment. Let's not ruin it. <laughs> uh, I did. I thought it was really well how he was in the in the movie. And I was like, is he going to be in the movie? And they're like, yeah. Everybody's like, yeah, he's in the movie. I was like, wow. Because I don't think he's been in a movie. He Not for a long time. Since this happened. So... Um, it was yeah, it was yeah. really cool that he was in it. Um I really liked the relationship that um Maverick had with his like on the ground guy. I don't know what his name is. Oh yes, he was funny. But I He's I liked their character. their relationship was really sweet to me. Mm-hmm. I I was fun to just with And the that. little the the little love story? The little love story with Penny? Yeah. Her name's that Penny. That was cute. And yeah. Trevor was like, it's it's that girl, it's that girl. I'm like, no, a different name. Because the girl that no, he was in love I, with was named Charlie. You're right, it's a different girl. Is she not the same girl from Rocketeer? Is she the same girl from Rocketeer? Charlie yep. or Penny? The um oh I can't get her name right. The girl in this new this one, Jennifer this Conley. One. Pen, yeah. Penny. Her name's Penny. Yeah. Yeah. She's from the Rocketeer. She's the I really girl from liked. The Rocketeer. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. The music. The music was geared towards my generation. It was. 100%. But here's the thing. The, the who music came on at the very beginning. Again, and I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. The, the music the came on. Everybody Loggins. went. Everyone went. Woo! Everybody wooed and clapped in my theater when the music came on. No, the, the ding, 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 ding. Like the, the like synth oh, heavy like yes, intro music. They, and then they then went they to the danger. That, yeah. Which is funny because you, your brother and I went to see... Uh, Doctor Strange, and it was so loud that we could hear Danger Zone in <laughs> our Doctor Strange movie. So, it in IMAX was insane. I imagine the 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 fighter, the jets, amazing. Their Absolutely faces, amazing. their faces were huge. Yes. Mm-hmm. They were, yeah. So giant. yeah, so uh, I loved the movie. I think that if you're a fan of the first, you will not. And I've talked to other people. I talked to someone today who saw it at the drive-in. And, and it was good at the drive-in? Uh, oh, her words were, it was amazing. I, I really it thought it would be fun I'd watch to it again. watch it. I think it'd be fun to go see it at the drive-in. Like, I don't think the first time I experienced it, I would want it to be drive-in. Gosh, but in the IMAX, I'd be, I'd almost have, like, so much sensory it wasn't, input in IMAX. It was be almost too much for me. Well, and then afterwards when we were leaving, the manager was there to clean up the theater and was like, hey, if this was if this was a fun experience for you, they have another experience that's like a three screen. And so they actually did a chunk of footage in the film to be on three screens to like loop around you. Oh, man. Gosh, and so lot. you're like in in it while it's happening. Mm-hmm. And they also had that movie in 4D. Where it's like jostling you and like spraying yeah, no, 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 no. And I'm like, there's no way in heck this is a movie I'd want to see in 40. Be- also, I never want to see a movie 1984. in 1984. Okay, George Orwell. That sounds not fun to me. Well, they already have it at Disney World. They have it everywhere. They had it at King's Island before. <laughs> they did. The Tomb well, Raider. I, I have zero nostalgia towards this film. Very limited nostalgia. Well, I only I watched do because Top I s- Gun. Well, I, I only watched Top Gun a couple weeks ago. Oh, because it was original. on it was on Netflix. I only ever watched the original. Mm-hmm. And so I had very limited experience mm-hmm. with the film and thoroughly enjoyed it. This I was don't Tom think Tom Cruise's need... first one hundred million dollar opening weekend. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was there a was there a trailer for the new Mission Impossible movie before your movie? No, but I'd already seen it. Ooh. And it's part one. They're ending those movies. So they're gonna they're gonna milk that. Are, are they ending it? It'd be Fast so. and Furious Impossible Mission 72. <laughs> Those movies do just kind of blend together, the, don't the they? Mirror they're, just, station they're just blah, blah, blah. in their car. <laughs> All right. So, um, and I loved it. A five I'd out of five. Six out of five. Yeah. 
It's it was really it was good. phenomenal, the, spectacular. The aerial the aerial footage is just amazing. Well, they and did like, very is limited. That real? Yes, I was like, golly, they did very limited CGI for this. Uh huh. People were yeah. The the amazing. end was perfect. Yeah, I loved it. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Okay, I good. I, yeah, it was a great ending. The yeah, ending well was done. perfect, mm-hmm. and oh. The, the picture. Yes, that, they, that was oh, good too. Oh, mm-hmm. tear drops down my face. Yeah, we face. don't want to spoil I'm it. I'm not for spoiling anybody, it. But they, I, but I was very. I know, but there's a lot of uh, you know pulls from the original. Um, yeah. So there you go. I liked it. Go I enjoyed see it. Maverick. Go see it. It was phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Comic book. list. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing for us today? Well, I there were. We haven't done this in a while. We have and not. There's been a bazillion comics. I, there, there's so many good ones to read. Don't write these down, Hannah, but if people are listening, you should go pick up Usagi Ojimbo. Issue 28 is a standalone issue, so it's great. Um, he is the Ronin Rabbit and actually going to be the next mosaic I do. Oh, um, <gasps> good. Re- That's who I'm I reading. voted for. Oh, yeah. I I'm did. Re- new Burn, issue seven, uh, starts a new. Uh, story arc and okay. um it's been it's so good it's by chip sardaski um the hulk and thor are fighting it out in their individual books Ooh, and spooky. at the end of was it hulk was it at the end of the hulk book or the thor book yeah at the end of the thor book i'm showing hannah a picture is that that's just, just thor thor, hulk thor? absorbs all the Hulk. gamma radiation. So now we have Thor Hulk. Man. So it's been good. It's been fun. It's a fun ride. Um, but I'm going to talk about four uh, books and then what I consider my book of the, what I'm enjoying the most. Okay, I don't right know on. if I could call it a book of the week, but. Um, well, we're going to call it a book of the week because I like calling things <clears throat> book of the week. It's all not right. Fair. We'll call it book of the week. How about we do a book of the week, week. and a new number one? Book of the week and a new number one. There you go. We'll do that. So, um, <laughs> book of the week and new number one. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, five books all together. Okay. I'm gonna do one I, have from my, DC. I have my thing ready. I'm ready to write down your, right. which what they follow. One under, from start. DC, one from Marvel, one from an independent, a new book number one and a book of the week. Oh, I love the symmetry. There you go. Please, yeah, sir, way. lay so, it on us. So my first, um, book is, uh, from DC. It's the okay. Swamp Thing. I talk about the Swan thing a lot. This is issue 13. Ram V is the author, uh, but this dude Perkins who draws it is just, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous to look at. Um, there is, of course, a new Swamp thing, and um, the Parliament of the Trees is the people who choose the Swamp thing. There has been something going on underneath Parliament of the, the cities. There is a, a man called Manchester Black who was part of a group called the authority who is considered the hero of the cities. He can feel the life of a city. So there's something growing in these cities and you come to find out the swamp thing is like, well, what happens when something dies, it usually gets taken over by the green. Like it gets overgrown, Mm. but something has happened and this idea has taken root. And sometimes ideas are hard to get rid of. And it's being Sounds spoiled. Sounds an awful lot like. Yeah, Department of Truth. Um, so what's happened is there's now called the Parliament of Gears. Oh. So it's these like technology. It doesn't care what it produces as long as it's producing. Oh. It's saying an awful well, lot. Well, that's kind of. Yeah, yuck. exactly. So um, the Parliament of the Trees told Swamp Thing they don't want him to be their avatar anymore. They choose his brother. Um, and push him out, but uh, Green Lantern comes and shows up at his house and says, um, a friend of mine from Gotham says, I should ask you about this. <laughs> yeah, Batman, we know it's Batman. They go, we see these things coming like planets. They seem like asteroids or whatever heading towards Earth, but they look like plant-like in origin. And he goes, they are. It's They're coming for war. So plants versus machines. But anyway, Plants it's versus zombies, except they're not zombies, they're machines. Yeah, um, that's funny. So uh, my, my Marvel book 
Yes. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to put this aside and go with a different Marvel book. Okay, okay, okay. Later, At last second, dead. I'm going with Avengers issue 56. So something that's been going on in the Avengers is there is the multiverse masters of evil. Of Dr. Course. Doom Prime has gotten these villains. L-O-L from all at over. Doom Prime. Yes, Doom Prime. And, um, but what happened in one of the issues is that the Valkyrie, which are all Jane Fosters from all the multiverses, came together. So they're like going together and fighting, whatever. So there's one Jane Foster who is in this perpetual dream. And like she was dreamed she was Thor's wife, but something didn't feel right. And um, so you come to find out that she, this Jane Foster was being held captive by three <laughs> Mephistos from three different. <sighs> right. Anyway, <clears throat> she breaks loose. What we don't need is three Mephistos. She breaks loose. Um, and she's now part of the Avengers, and she's sitting at the Avengers table, and they're talking, um, and she looks at Thor's hammer and like, oh, something's... Anyway, um, it's pretty good. The The Avengers have been fun, although they're getting ready to do this Avengers versus X-Men versus Eternals crossover, which Why? is going to be horrible. I don't know. I don't know. Why? I know. So my... Um, Am I being lame? You are. My independent uh, is from Image. It's called Bloodstained Teeth. It is issue two. Um, Bloodstained Teeth is a book about vampires. I think and, Trevin's reading that. And um, it's a huge class war thing. So what happens is um, there are people, there are the OG vampires, and they turn other people into vampires. They live forever. They call them sips, but they don't have their strength or the ability to turn other people to vampires. So this one vampire, because he lives forever, but he's got to make money, he would turn people into vampires for money. Well, the uh, the the old fogies who are in charge of all the vampires said, uh, you got to go kill off all your people um, before we kill you. He because has sired too many people? You can't have... Yeah, so they don't like what they're doing. Because in some mythologies and vampires, Mm -hmm. if you sire someone, then they are loyal to you. Oh, no, this isn't it at all. Okay. These people are just going around making... It is really good. The art is great. I'm not a huge vampire guy. You're not. Um, I was going to say, because you you were collecting a vampire the masquerade and didn't much care for it. It was... I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't... I stopped it. Um, And I stopped DC DC versus vampires. I didn't much care Mm -hmm. for it. But this um, one you're but, enjoying. And the art is great. It's it's more of a class. The 1% ruling the whatever. It's more, it has a lot to say about that. Okay. But they're using vampires as their mode to do gotcha. that. Gotcha. Vampire so, stuff is hot right now. Yeah. Hansel. Of, he's so hot right now. Hansel. Hansel. Yeah. Sorry, I watched that too. I just <laughs> not I remembered that. I love that movie. What is this? A school it's for school. ants? What is A center for ants? Yeah. It has so to be my, at least... Three times, times bigger. So my new number one is yes. by DC. It's called Batman Fortress. Okay. And uh, I'm usually not big on all the new Batman stuff. You like and Detective Batman. I do, but lately it's been dragging on except for okay. the background story. Background story. You story. love a background story, Dad. No, I hate background stories. You, the end in stories. Case. The stories yeah. at the end. Well, the back, yeah, the second, whatever. The back one in the, the thing for Detective that I was reading that I loved mm. ended horribly. Aw, lame. Totally lame, lame oak, completely. Um, anyway, so Batman Fortress, uh, uh, issue one. I think it's like going to be, it's going to be a miniseries, like eight, whatever. So there's a worldwide blackout, and Batman is, of course, everybody gets loose, but the issue of course. Is, Always. The issue is Batman is trying to handle that. Try Superman is nowhere to be found. This is worldwide. Uh-huh. So Batman thinks it's an alien invasion, and he has to gather people together. Um, the thing about this is it's not in regular continuity, and for people who don't understand what continuity is, in comics, continuity is like um, the way things flow. So now in... DC it's continuity. like if there was a special episode that didn't really make sense in the middle of a TV show because they had a special guest. Well, and it's outside the regular time frame. 
Yeah. So Alfred like, is still alive in this. Oh. Which is it weird. And it's but here's good. what we sucks love him. about it. Thank you very much. That's the issue. I can't stand that they've gotten rid of Alfred. It's and a lot of super times people lame. can make make Batman like newer Batman comics, he's like such a butthead. And in this one he's not. He well, like even asks Jim Gordon at one time, Are you okay? Are you tired? People love to out? make Batman into and, a butthead though. But anyway, this is really good. I like it. The premise, I I don't this author, I think he did TV. His name's Witta, I'm not for sure. Uh, the art is really I enjoy the art. Um and it's it's a light, lighter hearted Batman. It's not as dark That's and sweet. brooding. Yay. But I I'm wondering why the name Fortress and why do they keep worrying about where Superman is oh, and alien invasion? Are they gonna go to the Fortress of Solitude? Yeah. Or he's gonna create his own fortress? Yeah. I don't know. I hope so, so I'm interested to find out. They've got me. Oh, I'll get the second I hope issue. so. That would so be my, sick. My book of the week. Book of the week. It's the book of the week. Uh, this is um, issue four okay. of an image comic called Rogue Sun, S-U-N. Now, I got issues one, two, and three in Nashville at a comic book really? store. Really? That's they so fun. They had issues one, two, and three. It is, um, I, if you all have followed me at all, I've talked about how I like Radiant Black. You do. Rogue Does it look Sun like Radiant Black? Is in the same universe. Oh, fun. S-O-N and or S-U-N? S-U-N, but it's S-O-N too. <gasps> we love a double meaning. So here's the cool thing about this book. I, the What happens is there's this uh, kid who's like 17, 18 in high school. Mm. He has a single mom. Okay. His dad uh, left him. Um, and uh, Bummer. So what happens is, you know, he's a bully at school. He's having kids... Right, do his homework, blah blah blah, and his mom's. But anyway, what happens is his real dad dies, and he and he comes to find out that his real dad, he remarried, has two children, has bukus of money. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah. While, no sir. Yeah. Well, what happens is he is invited to the reading of the will, and you come to find out that his dad was this superhero called Rogue Son, and he leaves the stone to him because he's the firstborn i don't know why we don't know why, why? or does he not trust his other son and his why? daughter or his wife oh no but, so That's it's like a stone good. Here's the or is deal. he now, like oh shoot when, i'm sorry kid when he I didn't turns take- into the rogue son his dad's his dad's soul is combined with that, so his dad is talking in his head. Aww, the dad that'd that he be can't like part stand. cute, but also part awful. The dad that he can't stand because he left his mom. Oh man, all this kind of stuff, and then he comes to find out that he had this other family, all this money. We're struggling, <clears throat> blah blah blah. And the mom is like, "You need to, you know, the the his mom is like, you need to stop being a bully at school. You need. I know you want to be a superhero, but this comes first. Superhero comes second. <clears throat> Excuse me." You're fine. Well, he's trying to learn how to use these powers. His dad's trying to tell him. Here's his dad says, here's the deal. You find out who killed me, and I'll leave. Until then. Right on. You're stuck with me. Okay, let's let's so, tally ho. Get this wrapped up, my guy. So this like uh soul vampire creature comes after him in this issue, and his dad is uh getting uh, she's going to suck out the d- dad out of the thing or whatever. And all of a sudden a mysterious uh, person beats her down and um, says like, uh, you can leave him there. We have a lot to talk about it. And the person who takes off the mask and it's the mom. So the mom's a superhero too. His mom? Yes. Ah. So anyway, this, if listen, if, if you can find all four issues, I found all, I found the first three. For just on the covers, I didn't have to pay anything extra. Okay, awesome. Um, it's really good, especially if you like superhero stuff and you're a little bit tired of the Marvel DC thing. It Rogue sounds kind of like Seven Secrets. Which is about over. They only have like one more issue of Seven Secrets. Oh, I can't wait to read mm-hmm. it. Guess what I want? What? The trade. Trade paperback. I want the thick boy trade. The big one. The what omnibus. is Bloodstained Teeth by? 
Image. Okay. I thought it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love, we stand Image in this house, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Image usually does we a deal. stand. Mm, they send out a bunch of new books, and you can give them a try, and if you don't like it, you get rid of it. Uh, there, there were a bunch of cool books that I got this time. Um, Shaolin Cowboy was fun. Um, but anyway, you just don't have enough time to talk about them all. However, we do have time to talk about like 15 minutes to talk about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse. Okay. This is spoiler heavy. So Spoiler heavy, ladies and gentlemen. If you do not want to be spoiled. If you haven't seen it by now, it's been out for a month. Yeah. We don't feel bad about spoiling okay. you. So, Hannah, did you like it I or not? I didn't hate it. Okay. I did not like Wanda. How they took care of Wanda in the film. Oh, me either. I am sick and so tired. First of all, did you finish WandaVision? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. She wouldn't do that. Well, first of all, they give us, they get us invested in her grief and her feeling. And then they just ruin her in this. Well, I, all, I truly honestly don't believe that she would have taken hold of the Darkhold like that. It felt very Phoenixy to me. Like Dark Phoenix. Like Dark oh, wait, Phoenix. That, the the movie that yeah. you watched that was horrible? I yeah. Yeah, I can see. If, okay. It felt very Dark Phoenix to me, mm-hmm. and I did not appreciate it. I'm sick and tired of the lady goes crazy trope. Well, I I, I just I didn't and then it being like, oh, these beings are waiting here for you. I thought that was super lame. And then she just crumbles into dust. Yes, yeah, she destroys the dark hold so that no one else can get it. And herself. Although, I don't well, believe that one can, bit. Although you can access it from a thousand other multiverses as we've already discovered. Yeah, that was terrible. It was, used, it was, it was so dumb. lame. My I, So that was a big issue for me. I hate um, Oh, it made me so the angry. Second, another thing I didn't like about Get it her dirty. was the neutering of the Illuminati. The Illuminati... It was, that was lame, too. That was terrible. Black Bolt? Black Bolt? That was so, would ne- so dumb. Would never do he that. He would never do that. Thank you very much. I was, I was not- like, well, he showed Thank up on you. screen, and I'm freaking out because Black Bolt is on screen. And Trevin's like, who's that? I'm like, oh, my goodness. I'm like freaking out because the XL comic books. So I, I know oh, yeah. a lot of these people because I right. encountered them in the XL comic Exiles. book. Yeah. And his character... Like he is, he is a wise man. He's not up for a, your nonsense. First of all, the anyone's character, nonsense. I don't even think he looked, I didn't think, I don't know who the actor was that played him, but the look didn't look to me like Black Bolt. And you didn't, Black you get, you get an excellent Reed Richards on screen and you don't let him do anything. He did nothing. Except fall apart into a thousand Except pieces. turn into noodles. I was like, this would never happen. It was, was so this would never happen. So okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Black Bolt has trained himself to never even cry Does out in his sleep. Yes. He's not going to accidentally say words with him with not having a with, mouth. With ma- no mouth. Yeah. Thank you. And it was pretty. It was, that was sick though. That was, that was gnarly. I didn't I'm not like going to say that's not gnarly because it was. And he's not going to do that. Yeah, he would never do that. Thank you. He would much. never do that. And then the, the daggone Professor X, they just break his neck. I'm like, it, what? It was. That's what I said. You have the smartest man in the, uni- in the Marvel Universe. You have the strongest woman in the Marvel Universe, in Captain Marvel. You have the, the, the most, the best the telepath in the Marvel Universe. And I mean, you, they're, they're. And you, they, she just shreds them? It was terrible. Like what? I'm not even talking about Peggy Carter. That was cute. I could do this all day. Thing. That was. I was like, you go, girl. I see. Yeah, I see what you did but, there. But it was so lame, Dad. I know. I didn't like that at all. Was and that my friends like? Were like, well, it could be Illuminati from this universe. It's just not as good. No, you don't take the the strong, the smartest, strongest. Why? It was. It was really lame fan service. Exactly. It was really, 100%. really lame fan service because, ev- like, it was it was cool to sit in a theater and for Reed Richards mm-hmm. to come out and everyone go, yeah, 
like everybody cheered and clapped. And like, like people what? were stoked. And then everybody's like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah. like I was like. I, so ooh. they have now attempted to make Black Bolt twice. And, and they've killed him. him both times. Man, and he. I mean, like, I get it. I get why that would be a hard character to portray on screen. Like, it just would be because. I don't know. I don't think He so. doesn't say anything. Doesn't have to say anything. He did. He spoke sign language. Yeah. And we've had sign language, like the uh, girl from Eternals spoke echo. sign language. Yeah. And Echo. She's got a new show too. <sighs> Man. So yeah, I was, I was extremely disappointed. I was uh, just, that. it was super, super. But there I, were parts of it that were really mm, cool. I liked America Chavez. She was cool. You didn't much care for her? I, I mean, No. Okay, so honestly, I did not I care for her. Like her character it, was good. It just, I liked it, her. It feels like it was just a reason to put her into a, a movie. It was a so reason to put her in a movie so that Avengers. they can do. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Here's a new sidekick for you to befriend and teach. Oh wait, she can do everything. She doesn't yeah. need your help. No. Yeah. I just. So it, <sighs> <sighs> so it was definitely a Sam Raimi film. You could tell by the. I, I loved his makeup at the end as the zombie Doctor Strange. That, With that, all of the wings? Okay, so that, that was looked insane. exactly like Evil Dead 2. Did it? Come on, you saw Evil it Dead. Did. It did. No, the you're right. It that, did. It did. And, his face. And it was fun seeing Bruce Campbell in there. So did you realize that? Mm-mm. So the guy with the mustard that's punching himself, that's Ash no, from Evil Dead. that's funny. He's in I all didn't Sam notice Raimi that. Movies. That's funny. Yep. Yeah, I man, I I really liked the the fight. Yeah, I love the the I music the fight. Filmed. The music I, fight with the two. You didn't care for it. So, oh, this is Doctor Strange, who's so powerful to destroy every living person on the planet but himself. And he's and gonna fight gonna you with music. With, with music, yeah, I thought that was. I mean, it, it just, was pretty to watch. It was it was, it was cool. It was fun to watch. And then I he enjoyed just watching. Him out and he, I, but I thought that just, was lame too. It was. It was disappointing for me. I I I liked it. I I started liking it, and then I was like, "This is just doesn't isn't right." It didn't make um, sense. A lot of some of my some of my friends, you know, are like, "It's a lot of witchcraft." I'm like, "It's Scarlet Witch." What do you? Expect? It's Scarlet Witch and Doctor but, Strange. Like but Doctor Strange yeah, didn't even seem like magic. They were just shooting didn't. arrows and had a force field. I mean, what it magic was, is that? So, and okay, th- let's find the book of Vishanti, which apparently is highly flammable. That was lame. Yes, there was so much. There was about so it much of it that like, was just really lame. But it was and pretty. It was, it was beautiful to watch. It yeah. felt very um, ch- like slapped together with scotch tape. Mm, I don't know about that. Like it didn't, like, oh, like it felt, here's what it felt like to me. Like, let's put a blue patch on the back of the cloak of levitation. That was that's so how it felt. <laughs> that's how it felt. I felt like that's what this movie it was. was. Yeah. Hey, it's the cloak of levitation with a blue with patch. The blue on pouch. The back. <laughs> I, I mean, so lame. I was like, I just, what? And man, I really, really wanted to like Him it. With the third and parts eye. of it were really enjoyable. And then, like, it was, but then it was like, oh, this. Oh, yeah. And then Wong even going, I don't want to know. Don't tell me how you did it. Like, you know how, like at the Wong end, would you know never. with the dark hole. I know. Wong would oh, well, literally anyway. never. I so, don't know. It felt very much like, hey, these characters that you know, you don't actually know them. And um, we're just going to make up whatever we want to make up so that it makes sense. Also, there are no rules. Um, are here's rules America now. Chavez. They've screwed up with the multiverse. They've screwed up with it. So, yeah. I don't know. And I just. Uh, I wanted to like it. I really I did. Wanted, I wanted it to be really and it, good. It's pretty to watch, pretty to look at. A lot of the, the filming is great. The costuming and the way they do that. I, I liked all of that. Um, but as far as the movie, I would. I, will I watch it again? Probably. Because it'll be on in the background. But it's not one that I go, yeah. Now, Maverick, I would. I'd. I'd, I'd watch that movie over and over again. Absolutely. And Doctor Strange I just, was I a really, disappointment. I really hope 
that Marvel movies don't turn bad. I know. Nathan was like, Nathan said that he went, he and I went and he's like, you know, I've come to the point where I just don't much care for him now. Well, and but, Kevin didn't even want to go see it. I was well, like, can I we please go see this? He I like, saw I it mean, just I this weekend. How long has it been out? A while. Yeah. A um, while. And so, it wasn't, I wanted <laughs> to like it more than, I just, ugh, I'm disappointed. And here's the deal. The, the reason I enjoyed Spider-Man so much. Spider-Man was so good. I enjoyed Spider-Man because of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. That's what made me enjoy that movie. Yeah. And the villains from all the other movies. So that's what I liked. It was nostalgia for me. And just seeing like um, Andrew Garfield catching when he get, catches that person. Oh, and catches he goes, are Zendaya. you okay? He's like, are you She's okay? Like, yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, and he's, he's like, like, are you yeah. okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? I was like, yes, oh. exactly. It was so, yeah. But so, and that is authentic fan service. Yes. This right here was this. Was nice. This felt like like super super. Nah, you know what I mean? nah, does that, does nah, that, does nah. that, do you get what I'm saying? And that's maybe that's why they did it. And if that's why they did it, then that's lame. <clears throat> yeah. Really? Captain Carter. You know Captain cool? Carter was introduced in What If. Do you know how cool it would be to watch a John Krasinski be Reed Richards? I don't know if I'd like it. Oh, dude. I'd know. watch that movie, but and see, and they can't do a fantastic. They've never done a good Fantastic Four film. Oh yes, they have. Uh, Incredibles. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Okay, I just, another book, comic book that was on my list that I w- wanted to talk about if I had a t- chance was called um, World's Finest, which is a Batman. Um, oh, I thought I brought it up here. There it is. It's a Batman Superman. Uh, combo and there are they've gone back in time uh robin and and um supergirl have gone back in time to get some information and they have one character who is as fluid as river waters mr fantastic the hoi huo who channels the sun thank you very much congo commander of the winds which is visible woman and whatever his name one with all the forces of the earth the thing. See, even DC can do it. I just, uh, mm. I am, I don't want to be like negative, na- negative Nancy or Debbie Downer or any of those things. <laughs> and I hope that this is not the beginning of the end. Oh, I don't know. Well, here's the thing. It is the beginning of the end for this for episode. Podcast. Do you know <laughs> what I mean though? Am I being a turd? I think they're just going to change the way it is because here's the deal. The TV shows have been fantastic. Are the TV um, shows good? Did you watch Moon Knight? I have not. I liked Moon Knight. It, it, um, the first episode and the last episode, of course, were the best, but I enjoyed it. And, uh, Oscar Isaac, you know, Oscar Isaac is as good in that as, as, um, no, pa- as Pedro Pascal is in The Mandalorian. So Oscar Isaac plays in real life. three different characters in this two Crazy. almost the entire time Leia Gaya did I, I tell like, you Kathy I- do you know why he has dissociative identity disorder she goes childhood trauma and I was like yeah how'd you know that she goes because it's that's all childhood why. trauma <laughs> that's why because that's she why said. dad that's um, why childhood I, trauma on moon night I also watched the unbearable weight of massive talent oh I want to watch it was it good it was hysterical all right. I feel like right. I'd enjoy it a lot more if I had deep understanding and knowledge of Nicolas Cage, which gotcha. you happen to have more than I. Did they, did they, was there anything in there about him wanting to be Superman? I think so. Okay. You know he had a huge comic book collection worth millions of dollars. What happened to it? Well, I think he sold them. He probably got in hock or needed money. I don't know. How can you need money? He makes 700 movies a that's, year. That's his thing. That was that was the whole shtick is that he's... What? he's losing money and nobody wants to hire him because he's Nick Cage. And so he has to go to this fancy Island to be this guy's friend. Oh gosh. Pig was great. Did you watch it? I did not. It's really I good. You'll I cry. I can't do, I can't do that kind of stuff right now, dad. I know. This, I, I can't do it. All right. Well, listen, we done. We done. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, thank you for coming with us on this ride for our back. We're going to be heading out. We're going to be doing this, a lot. Weekly, yeah. 
in, hopefully. Yes. Yay. So, Hannah, what's in the role? role? Okay. Hey, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, our intro music is composed and performed by Brock Will Nason. He has a new single coming out single. Um, in June, which is tomorrow. Uh, we're recording this on May the 31st. Um, okay. Check it out on any place that you listen to music. It's coming out here soon. Um, our art was created by Nate Turner. He made that in Microsoft Paint. Hey, thanks for doing that for us, bud. And Bye. if you share our podcast and then send me a message, I'll give you a pen. A pen. and Not a, a writing utensil, but a, a pen. Not pen. a pen, a pen. That you can keep your cattle in. That no, you can put pen. on your jacket or on oh, yeah, your no. on your bucket hat. Because uh, those go. are coming back in style again, Dad. I don't even in know case what that you is. didn't. Okay, never mind. Um, our podcast is edited and uploaded by yours truly, and our YouTube page is maintained by Pops, who's shaking his head vehemently, saying that perhaps that is not something that is happening anymore. Um, it is happening, <laughs> just hasn't in a while. So I need to get on that. We've okay. had a lot of life happen, haven't we? We've either? had so much beautiful life happening, Dad. So, and we have in more life, but. You're in it now with us, too. Yay. All right. Dad. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yay. And until then, we will catch you on catch the flippity-flop. Flippity Indeedy-do. Bye, sweet friends.